Well, good afternoon. I want to acknowledge Admiral Aiken. Very good to have you here, Jim, our, our provost, Dr. Gartner, as well as uh, Dr. Tomlinson. Very good to have you here, sir. Admiral Guillermo Barrera Hurtado. Very good to have you here, sir, and wonderful to be sure that we have this honor today, this privilege to be able to honor you. Admiral Barrera has, has been with us for a while, but he served in the Colombian Navy for over 40 years with distinction and extraordinary leadership, and certainly with many years of command at sea. His, his assignments as a flag officer were commander of the Colombian Navy and the chief of operations of the Navy, the commander of the Caribbean Naval Forces and chief of Integrated Action J-5 at the Joint Command of the, of the Colombian Military Forces. In this job, he executed the transformation of the department from psychological operations to integrated action and prepared the final version of the strategy of integrated action for the military forces. He was part of the governmental team that transformed Colombia from the brink of failure to, to stability and democracy with a people-centric approach. He did this at great risk to his own life and to, and to the life of his family. His heroism at, at, at the time was noted, so much so that one of the people who also wishes to extend his regards is a former Chief of Naval Operations and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Admiral Mike Mullen. Admiral, Admiral Mullen wanted to be here, and he, and he could not. But he asked me in person to say about the Admiral this. He's a great man, a, a heroic man, a man of the Navy, and a man who, highly, who I highly regard as truly a friend. So Admiral, I wanted to extend to you Admiral Mullen's best regards. As a student at NPS, the Admiral not only engaged in rigorous and technical research, but also became a catalyst for academic discourse on maritime strategy and the roles of navies in national development. So Dr. Fouts, why don't you come up? And the other day, the other, the other day I must tell you, Admiral, Dr. Fouts, who is an expressive man, Thank you. Um, had his hair waving a little bit and his tie um, fluttering a, uh, a little bit as he talked about you as a student of his doubly uh, classes. Um, the title of Admiral Barrera's thesis is Target Acquisition with a Curved Controlled Digital Sampled Data Server, Stater Servo. Uh, his thesis advisor was Dr. George Thaler, the second reader, Alex Gerba, and the uh, ECE department chair at the time was Abraham Scheingold. Unfortunately, none of these people are with us anymore. But seeing the thesis, I went ahead and read parts of it. It's an outstanding technical work, bringing together aspects of computer engineering and control theory. He truly displayed that he understands both applications and theory of some very difficult electrical engineering uh, concepts, concepts which he still knows. So we all owe you a thank you for the, your contribution to computer storage technology and control algorithms. He got things done. Isn't that the definition of a leader? This is the great man, the great leader who got things done, who we recognize and honor today. Admiral? Thank you very much for being about, uh, with us. And I'd now like to invite uh, Admiral Lincoln, uh, sir, to please help uh, Vice Admiral Rondeau in uh, unveiling the uh, Hall of Fame plaque. What a tremendous distinction. What a tremendous honor. Allow me to receive this 
on the name of all international students that had graduated here and had come back to their countries to serve with distinction because they were educated here. I have a tremendous gratitude with my professors, starting with Professor George Taylor, who cannot be with us today. I used to wrote letters to him until he passed away. And also Robert Strum. He was the person who sat with me, helping me to decide what was the next term subject that I would be taking and why. When I left, I kept communications with my professors for some time. Most of them retired and died. And I remember them with a special love because they helped me to learn not only the technological things, but also the human things. And slowly I started shifting a little bit from the technological with the times to the operational, to the strategic, and to the policy making areas. 10 years later, I went to the Naval Postgraduate School. I mean, Naval World College. And I had another continuation of what I started learning here. Not just the technological, but with the following orientation for a normal naval officer. In 2005, I was in their mind. Another level, quite important, quite relevant. That helped me also to project myself more in the, into the future. But what I learned along those years is that the beginning of my education started here and cannot end until I die. Thank you very much to the Naval Postgraduate School that together with the Naval World College allow me to be a better human being. Not a perfect one. I have many mistakes. I have committed many mistakes. But learn from them and being able to recover that is the most important part, and keep going ahead because we serve people. Therefore, I learned here, and I, I, I say that with a tremendous sense of gratitude. I learned here to love and serve my family, to love and serve my friends, to love and serve my countries, because I'm also American, and humanity, because that is the responsibility of a great power. And I have been thinking in great people in my country that probably deserve this much better than me, but I am their representative today. I represent them today here. I'm sorry for being that long, but I'm really worth coming out of my heart. God bless you all. You are trying to build up a better world. Thank you.